Hey, welcome back. Ashley here, allthingsindustry.com. Just taking a look at my tabletop setup for uh, endodontic access. Um, there's my tooth in the middle with, uh, well, here it is, the uh, tooth. And what I did was I just put a rubber dam around it just to try to uh, mitigate any of the uh, splash from the water. And to try to make a cup around the tooth, I used 4x4 uh, four four gauze and some uh, masking tape. That's all I really had around. And it, it did work, actually, nicely. Uh, and again, here's another shot of uh, the setup. You can see the uh, Root ZX and a few other of the instruments that I was using. So I want to continue down the path of uh, just opening up, troughing this uh, region between MB1 and MB2. Here I'm going to be pointing out there's MB2. And the best way to discover it is draw a line, per, uh, draw a line from MB1 to MB2, excuse me, MB1 to palatal and intersect that with a, a line from the distal buckle and that will give you an approximate region. So what I'm doing here, uh, you can see the uh, root ZX uh, clip on there. It's just, I'm just confirming patency of the MB2 canal and that's actually a canal itself. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trough. And this is an ultrasonic and I'm just slowly trying to remove some of the dentin between to see whether or not that's an actual fissure or whether they're two separate canals. Actually, I know they're two canals now because I've confirmed with my uh, root ZX, but I want to be able to allow my irrigants to get in there and cleanse that. So here I've rinsed it a bit and now I'm just confirming, just continuing to see uh, exactly what's going on with that fissure. Of course, you're going to be creating a lot of dent and dust, so it's critical to uh, continually flush. So here, um, now we're at a next level of, uh, I've removed more of the dentin, so you can see that now we're becoming more of a, uh, an orifice for the MB1. And my irrigant, so, and actually I'll be able to get better straight line access. So I'm just going to continue a little more. Uh, this is with the ultrasonic. This is about, just going to be finishing uh, my troughing. So I'm going to enlarge it. Uh, one of the things I'm looking for also is straight line access for my uh, my rotary endodontic files for both, I mean for all canals, uh, but especially in this region. So you see once we're done with the ultrasonic, uh, we'll get a really nice clear view of what I've done. So what I'm trying to show here is that actually the MB1 goes right around the cur corner, sort of like file drops in and whoop, right around the corner, right there. So it's important to know that if you're, again, that's trying to develop, and there's MB2, trying to develop a straight line axis, that you want to eliminate as many curves as possible, especially at the coronal portion of the orifice, at the, of the canal. So the next step would be um, now opening up the orifice and developing a straight line axis. Now I know exactly where uh, my canals are going. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions and um, I'll try to answer. Cheers.